Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Whether you're looking for a website, blog, or an online store, make sure to check out Squarespace. Use the coupon code Manny, you get 10% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Manny Ortiz. I am finally back. That flu kicked me in my butt. I don't know if you guys have gotten the flu this year, but it is no joke. So I'm finally back, and today I wanna to talk about five portrait photography don'ts so five things that you should not be doing okay so let's get right into it you know that one location that you've been super excited to shoot at well it's a mistake to go there first because um, I've noticed in my workflow that I consistently get better images as the photo shoot goes along and that's probably because I'm already in sync with my model I'm already I already I'm already in my groove so going to your favorite location first is probably is a mistake i think that you're going to exhaust that location you're going to be working out all the kinks there i think that you should go to uh, another location first work out all the kinks set set the expectations start getting in your groove then you start heading to the really good locations where you're going to consistently get better images and yes i still take bad photos guess what everybody takes bad photos still trust me and I don't care how much of a pro you are or how much experience do you have you're still going to be experimenting on the field you're not gonna, you don't know what nobody knows it all okay and some of the best images that you that you can take sometimes happen on accident sometimes we get lucky i mean let's face it so when you're out in the field and you see something right and you're just like hmm i wonder how that's gonna look but i don't know if it's gonna look good go take that picture what, what are you losing out on we have digital cameras Go take the picture. If it doesn't look good, you move on to the next one. I'm telling you guys, just go out there, have fun, experiment with your environment, experiment with your photography. Don't be afraid to take bad shots. One thing I cannot stand is when I see a photographer hiding behind his camera for a long period of time and not giving any feedback to the person they're photographing. I think that is very important to give feedback and to communicate with the person you're shooting because they don't know if they're doing good. They don't know if you like what they're doing. I think that it's important to, instead of just staying behind your camera, I think it's important to photograph and kind of like, hey, you know, oh, perfect, perfect. I love that, I love that, perfect. You know, and talking to them. Go to adjust that left hand for me, adjust it. Yeah, yeah, there you go, perfect, right there, I like that. Good, good. Photographers, please stop hiding behind your camera and start talking to the people you're photographing, give them some positive reinforcement, and just occasionally let them know that they're doing good. Trust me, they really appreciate it. So when, when I work with experienced models, you don't have to tell them much, right? Isn't it nice? Isn't it so convenient? Just tell them, you have to just give them a general idea of what you want and they'll kind of do their own thing. So all you have to do is sit back, worry about the composition and stuff like that. I love that, it's very convenient. But we don't always get to work with experienced models. When we work with inexperienced people, you have to be, give them more direction. You have to be, you know, you have to communicate more. So I have a set of go-to poses in my head that I would use for people that, you know, need posing guidance, I would use that. And instead of just continuing to pose them, I would tell them, hey, so now what I want you to do is have some fun. And those are the key words, have some fun. When you tell someone to have some fun, they worry less and there's less pressure on them to like do something that's really pretty. And what they'll do is kind of just, you know, be themselves, move around naturally. And that's what you want. You want to be able to capture them in their natural state where you can get some really nice natural photos. So try telling that to your model next time. You're going to end up getting some great shots. So in the earlier days of my photography career, I was definitely a more conservative shooter. And when I would hang around with the photographers and see them take like five to 10 photos per pose, think to myself like, good luck in Lightroom, sorting through those images, like that's just crazy. But but as my style has progressed, I've actually uh, noticed the benefit of, of taking more pictures, right? Yes, you're gonna, you're gonna need more SD cards, you're gonna need more storage for your photos. But if you value great images, if you value great natural expressions and poses, you're gonna stop shooting conservative and you're gonna shoot more. All right, everybody, those are my five portrait photography don'ts. If you can relate to anything that I said in this video, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm feeling so much better, guys. I kicked the flu's butt and I'm ready to go ahead and just start dropping content. So uh, subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss out on any of the goodness. I'll see you in the next video, guys.